Yeah, Democrats got stomped over the weekend by Republicans in both local and statewide races. Come January, Republicans will hold every statewide office. Capitol correspondent Chris Rosado gives us a look at how Democrats plan to move forward and why they think they performed so poorly. Chris. Well, speaking with both one of the ranking Democrats in the Senate and the party's chairwoman, they're both well aware they have a lot of work to do before the next election cycle. Republicans had already claimed the governor's mansion and a few other statewide races during last month's primaries. Over the weekend, there were several local and statewide runoffs where Republicans continued to rack up victories. Come January, they will hold every statewide elected office in Louisiana. Now, Democrats need to figure out how to move forward with their party while holding just a tiny minority. Going forward, we need to focus um, not only our Democratic strongholds, but places that we can pick up. Uh, votes and, and hopefully in a second majority minority congressional district here in Louisiana to get us one step closer to fair representation. According to the state's Democrat Party chairwoman, Katie Bernhardt, Democrats have struggled with messaging, among other issues. And in order to make any progress in future elections, they'll need to find out how to make their party more appealing to voters. Louisiana still currently has more registered Democrats than Republicans, and while some are just not voting at all, others are now casting ballots for Republicans. We have um, developed a great grassroots network, but that's, that's a work in progress. Um, it's been a 10-year downturn, and we are working tirelessly to engage in voters across the state. Catching up with Democrat Senator Cleo Fields today, he says the blame for poor turnout and lost races cannot simply go to one person alone, but rather the party as a whole. I just think it's a reflection moment for all of us as Democrats to sit around the table and decide what we have done wrong because we all got us here, including me. Republicans not only hold every statewide position, but they also have super majorities in both chambers of the legislature, making our state's government the most conservative that it's been in our state's history. There are many Democrats left as far as activists who are speaking out. Uh, the uh, results are obvious. It was a disastrous cycle. Political analyst Jim Engster says if Democrats want to have any success getting legislation passed, they'll need to rely on reaching across the aisle and work with moderate Republicans more so than they have in years past. But whether that will be in play in the first year or two of Governor Landry, I, I seriously doubt it. I think he's going to get a honeymoon and he will have an opportunity to be the most powerful governor we've had perhaps in history. Now, Bernhardt says Democrats also need to take a closer look on the economic front of things to try and keep more young voters in the state who tend to predominantly vote Democrat. Guys, back to you. All right, Chris, thank you for that. So today, law.